All right, want a little sneak peek of this new flooring I just installed by Novacore Flooring? Just a peek. All right, so I'm at my parents' house. I'm going to redo their floors. Um, I am using Novacore for these floors. I picked these for several reasons. One, it's super easy to install. Two, it has the backer um, on the back, which is amazing, so there's no underlayment already attached to the floor and then three they're supposed to be like super quiet soundproof floors so my parents this is a super small house they always have all the grandkids here so that's five grandkids and a dog it's always like loud echoing all the things so i'm hoping that will help them it'll be amazing let me show you which color i picked you're gonna die it's so good Novacore Q floors are available in a variety of designs and colors and are perfect for any lifestyle or aesthetic. I ended up going with the Wagner collection and as you can see it's super light, very airy, has a grayish tone and it's perfect for my mom's style. Honestly, I think the hardest part about getting new flooring is actually picking the color for your room. Novacore actually made this super easy. They have a new online tool. It's called Envision and you can easily access it through your smartphone, tablet, or PC. I will leave the link in the caption below. But all you have to do is take a photo of your space that you want to transform upload it and then pick a color. As you can tell, I went through all of the flooring. They have such a variety, such a selection. And in the end, I did go with the Wagner and it showed up exactly how it would after I was finished. So impressed with this online tool and helped eliminate any doubt I had about my color selection. Here's a few of my favorite tools while doing flooring. These floors you can cut by scoring and snapping. If you want to go quicker, you can use the circular saw. I actually use this floor cutter and it makes my life so much easier. So I have my floor all cleaned out. Everything is clear. The underlayment's all out. I have vacuumed. Um, I have pulling out different panels um, from different boxes. I'm seeing the, just so we get like a mixture of the two different kinds of patterns or three different kinds of patterns that these uh, Novacore floors have. Um, I'm gonna line them up. We'll decide which pattern and then like separate them. And so we have a really cool pattern going. And then when we install them, we want to start them from the left and work our way to the right. So I'm gonna do this first row, whatever's left over, we pull it around and start from the other side. Okay, so I'm using the Novacore flooring, but I wanted to show you this real quick. I've taken out all the boards from four different boxes and I'm just like alternating the different colors and the patterns. This way, the whole floor plan is gonna be like more cohesive and it's not gonna be like all of the same boards in like one row and the next row. So I'm just switching them all up. So I used four different boxes. Okay, we have removed all of the flooring and we are getting ready to put the moisture barrier down because this is a concrete um, slab of flooring. And this is the space that we're doing next. Okay, so all of the old flooring is up and removed. Everything is clean. And we are just adding this six mil sheet of plastic as a moisture barrier. This is a concrete slab flooring. So we are just going to put this underneath the new flooring that we're adding. All right, so here we go. So we are once again adding the flooring. I'm working from my left to my right. This is a quick and easy click system. No glue, no mess. Also something super cool about this floor, they have an ultra stable core, which means that you can install them without a transition in between rooms and over areas the size of 6,200 square feet. So we are actually trying to run this entire floor all the way through without a single transition. Okay, so let me show you how to install one of these boards. This, like I said before, is a click system. I'm just sliding this board into place and I'm using a tapping block and a rubber mallet to gently tap along the sides of the planks and getting them to click into the previous rows to make sure they are fully engaged. You wanna make sure there's no gapping that can compromise the whole install. So as you can see, we're just tapping along each of the seams. Okay, so here's how I do my end cut. So this is the next board. So I have actually flipped this board around backwards. So you see how they're the same on both sides. And I am just marking, I'm not marking here. I'm marking here where the board ends. And so when I flip this around, it's gonna line up perfectly. Um, I'm using a dry erase marker just because this literally will just wipe right off when I'm all done. And then we're gonna cut that off and then put it in place. 
Okay, so now that I've shown you a few of my tips and tricks, let's remember what this space looked like before we started. And are you ready to see what it looks like now? Get excited. Okay, seriously, are you seeing this space? I am completely obsessed with these Novacore floors. They absolutely transform this entire space. It is so bright, so airy. I am so obsessed. Like I said before, this is the Wagner from the Novacore Q. It is super easy to install, easy to maintain. They are waterproof, life-proof. They have a scratch shield max finish, so they are scratch-proof also quiet and absorb all of the noise seriously i could not be happier with this install